So as someone who works for a payments company, one of the really interesting things that we're seeing in terms of a shift in behavior is that this traditional intent-based model of searching for something on the web, finding a link and then clicking it and interacting with the merchant directly is changing to a model or a construct where merchants and consumers need to connect in a multitude of different formats and a multitude of different contexts. And tell us about Buyable Pins and you know, that product's been out for a year now. Tell us about the product and how things are going. A year ago, we launched Buyable Pins, which is a way to try to take all of that interest and, and intent that is on the platform um, around buying things and, and make it really easy for our users to, to connect with the merchants who are selling those things. You know, we integrated with, um, with Apple Pay um, you know, with the help of, of Braintree to make that happen. Um, because we saw users using it and we saw that it made the buying experience easier. Walk us through like some of the you know, nitty gritty around how Pinterest is using AI and machine learning. But one of the uses that we have for it is developing that visual search technology. Um, you see someone that's stylish, you see a, a living room that, that you really like, you can use your camera and point it right at that object. We'll detect the object um, and find similar object on Pinterest. Like I said, we've got over 10 million products on the platform, so there's probably something that's um, close to, if not identical to it, that, yeah. that matches. There's been a number of you know, services or companies that have tried to sort of get that right, and they've struggled with it, right? And so there's, there are some challenges with it, and I think accuracy is a big, is a big part of it. Right? Yeah, um, accuracy is, is tough, and it's one of the uh, challenges with any of these the machine learning um, approaches to something. I think the two things that you need to make a really good experience are a lot of, um, a lot of data and then a feedback loop that tells you whether your, um, your algorithm is progressing and going in the right direction. Yeah. So over 100 million times every month, someone uses this visual um, search technology and, and that helps us refine it every single time. Aside from Pinterest and just think about like the broader commerce ecosystem in general, how do you think AI and, and machine learning fit into broader commerce? There's a lot of opportunity, especially because of, uh, because of mobile. What that means is that everybody is looking at a very small screen for short chunks of time. So the better you are at limiting the, the, the set of things that people need to consider to right. only the ones that are actually interesting to them, yeah. the more successful you're going to be. So right. I mean, we think about the payment space, and when we look at what Uber and all these great companies that we work with have been able to do in terms of just one-click buying, we see that as table stakes for anyone who's trying to sell anything on mobile, whether you're trying to get a, sell a ride right. or selling products, whether you're a large retailer, right? Yeah. yeah. On the web, if, if the right sweater that you were looking for was result number seven, yeah. you probably still saw it. Yeah. On mobile, if it's, if it's still result number seven, you missed it. You missed it. So, so they, you have to leverage machine learning to get yeah. those, all of those results better. Awesome. Thank you. Thanks.